Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Wedding Bells. I just got engaged. And I did not. We're on an adventure to plan the big day. Everyone knows that pink is my favorite color. My ring is pink, I like everything pink. I definitely am having like pink because my ring is pink. Let's face it, her whole wedding can't be pink. So we headed to see Jeanette, owner of De Lovely Creative, to get some decorating ideas. And her specialty? Homemade, handmade, easy, cheap and easy details that you can all do yourselves. I like those little details because it makes me so much more part of my own wedding. The first thing I loved? You just get a chalkboard paint, you can paint it on the glass, you can use it as dual purpose, so it can be decorative for the table, obviously to use as a glass, and also in place of favor cards. Jeanette had used a black and yellow theme, and we decided to name it. It's the Contessa, we've named it. All right, we're moving on to look number two. There's a poof! I love there's a pom-pom. And then Jeanette explained. Most banquet halls, restaurants, you get your standard white tablecloth. Okay. That usually comes with the price of everything. Yep. So instead of just, first of all, going straight to doing a runner, yep. to add in that color, ribbon, you can get yards of it for really inexpensive. And then. I came up with an idea. Some of your guests or your grandparents photos. put old wedding photos up. They're like, oh, that's my wedding. Or, you know, or your grandparents, like my grandparents are, are gone. So I'd love to have them like, Oh, now I'm getting all emotional. This is so silly. <laughs> While Sarah got all emotion thinking about her grandparents, we named the look Alice's Wonderland. Look number three, which I think is very much a Midsummer Night's Dream. Instead of doing the typical table runner idea made out of fabric, yeah. this is just reindeer moss. So it just adds bringing the outdoors. You can get this in any forest. The, like the chandelier yeah. is just yeah. dripping with this beautiful. Oh, I'm such a klutz. I wrecked the masterpiece. We didn't break anything. Ah. Oops, maybe I did. Sarah's not decorating her own wedding. It's okay, Sarah, let's just name it. What if it's Puck's dream? Puck makes me think of hockey. <laughs> na, 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 na. Okay, Aubrey. We settled on naming it a Midsummer Night's Dream. And then it was time for a porch style poof making contest. We're gonna try and make pom-poms and it's for quality, not speed. it out a bit more to give it that round shape okay. and you're good. Mine is shaped like a football. It's like flat it's on crazy. one side. It looks like it's got, it's got bed head. Can I just pay you to make these for me? Absolutely. <laughs> Done. It was pretty obvious that Aubrey was the winner. I'm actually starting to feel bad about winning. I won in a love game. Just kidding. <laughs> that hurt. I love this. This is how I imagine growing old with Jody and you. That's right, Sarah, and you and Jody are stuck with me. We'll get you a room in our house with a swing. Well, get me a husband. The afternoon had been a success. It's magical, and I love it. I can't wait to get married! While I started dreaming about decorating my wedding, we enjoyed the rest of our day in the country, even stopping to smell the roses. For Shaw TV, we're the wedding bells.